Yeah. And now the men's 800 meters. The world record by Sebastian Coe, 141.73. Johnny Gray, the American standard holder, 142.60. Gentlemen. 800 meters. There are your lanes. Mike Machinko in lane from the north. Aki Clark from the south. Dwayne Biggers will be in lane three from the west. Jim Maitens in four from the north. Jack Armour is in five. John Marshall will be in six for the east. Rob Demick, the AC Aki Clark, the American indoor record holder. Rob Demick from the west is in seven. Gerald House is on the outside in eight. This is going to be a good race. There's several top world-class performers in it. Aki Clark in lane two in the green had a fabulous indoor season. He uh, lowered the American record in the 800 twice and a thousand once, but he really just hasn't come on outdoors like he did indoors. Aki Clark has taken the lead. Jack Armour slides into second place in the blue. Clark has the green. They're coming up to 200 meters. Sliding by 23-3 for unofficially a very, very fast time. John Marshall, the big countenance of the former Villanova star, 1984 Olympian, is right now in third place. Clark, who trains with the Brazilians in San Diego, I should say Luis de Oliveira, who has a contingent of Olympic stars down there, is right now in control. He likes to go wire to wire. Armor running with him. Aki Clark, 50.6, a very good first 400 meter time, but Jack Armour is right on his shoulder, and I can tell you, Aki Clark has been using all of his energy to lead this race. A typical way the Brazilians train, the way Oliveira, De Oliveira trains them, go out hard, drop the people. If you can hang on, you'll run a fast time. Mike Machinko is right now in fifth place. That is Jim Maiton in fourth. John Marshall is in third. Second place, there goes Armour. As, as Dwayne, Dwayne was saying, and I agree, that's awfully tough order to the lead wire to wire here. There you see Armour beginning to pull in the lead. You can see Clark now. He is starting to come back on him, but he is tying up badly with 140 meters to go. Does Jack Armour have the strength to hold him off? And watch out in, in the third place. Maybe coming to swing wide to take this thing away from him. Down the stretch, and it's Armour trying to hold on. Jim Mayton sliding by an inside. Aki Clark wearing the green. It's Armour holding on. Here comes the rush of John Marshall at the tape. And the question is, who wins it? Was it Aki Clark getting up for victory at the end? That's what happens when you go out in 50.6 seconds, and you come home as though someone has just handed you a piano down the home stretch. Please. No less than Step five way, athletes please. in the last two meters of this race. They're well spread out here. Jack Armour tying up badly. Aki Clark trying to catch back up, getting some of his energy back from the early pace. Jim Mayton trying to squeeze by on the inside if he had a little bit more energy. But look at this. John Marshall out of nowhere coming down in fourth place now. We don't even know what place he got. And even Mike McChinko here. On the outside, he will not win it, but it's hard to say looks like Aki Clark, but remember, it's the chest first, not the head. Jack Armour might have held him off. I think Aki Clark gets the victory. Jack Armour gets second. Jim Maiden gets third. I'll take a chance on that one. But as you say, what a fabulous finish. I've run the 800 many times. Boy, it's a terrible feeling. Your mind works. Your arms pop. You can't get the legs to correspond with what you're thinking. One of the tightest 800-meter races we've seen in a long time. A good competitive race. Not a tremendous time, but an excellent race. 146.7 for the 800 meters. So, gentlemen, Jack Armour by one one-hundredth of a second. The young man out of Clovis, California, ironically, had never won an open 800. And then what happened was amazing. Well, at about 150 meters to go, you can see both Jack Armour in the lead and Aki Clark were tied up for a moment, and then they decided we only have 100 meters to go to the stretch. Let's try and hit that finish line. Then you see Jim Mayton on the inside. If he had just had a little more oomph, he could have gotten through on the, on the curve. Then here comes John Marshall in the blue and Mike Machinko, and at the tape, five athletes within a meter and a half or two meters. Jack Armour was able to hold off Aki Clark for the victory and a very credible time in the 146s. The closest, closest finish I have ever seen in world-class competition at 800 meters.